soldiers. It's a military-backed regime. It is a massive, human-loving tragedy. And it's a tremendous opportunity for our students here at AUT. But this morning it was full of people, as well as the 15 Pacific Island leaders. This is about what is happening now. We also took the time to look outside the election buzz. Videos like this one really get reported in West Papua. It's not about being a part of Indonesia or being independent, but it's about the truth. Only logical that a journal devoted to the Pacific media should come out of a centre which devotes so much energy to researching and writing about the Pacific media. It's clearly saying in every page that you look at that freedom and truth apply to everybody, everywhere. We're teetering on the edge of a time of great change. Voilà le, le pays paradisiaque de la Nouvelle Calédonie demain. Voilà les, les futures routes des foreurs. It's very important that we have organisations like the Pacific Media Centre around because there's often not a lot of funding for Pacific projects, but also to have expertise and that idea of supporting work that's going out there. This is our history. This is some of the best stories of activism in New Zealand. There aren't Pacific people in major leadership position. I think it's important that if you have a voice, you should use it. Here in the Pacific, climate change is a very real and dangerous threat and something that's affecting us. One of the things that I loved about working under the Pacific Media Centre was it's such a hub of information for the Asia-Pacific region. They also taught me a lot about the in-depth and hard-hitting issues that are happening in the Pacific that nobody knows about globally. I owe a lot to PJR, PMC and David Adele.